Three Sticks is a game based on geometry. The game is played using three types of sticks. Players use these three types of sticks in multiple combinations to create geometric shapes on the board. So let's say the first player places these two sticks in this fashion. Then it's the next player's turn who can place similar sticks here and here to create a rectangle, right? So the second player earns points for creating the rectangle. Players can show their points right on the board using their score markers. In this case, by placing one marker at 50 and another at 4. Players keep adding points they score in each turn and the first player to reach a score of 500 wins the game. So the game continues and the third player places these two sticks in this fashion. Which shape do you think he or she created? A triangle, right? But by placing these two sticks, didn't he or she also create this whole trapezium? That creative thinking is what the game is about. Which two sticks will you use? Where will you place them? And what shape have you created? Say a teacher asks to calculate the area of a trapezium. After playing the game a few times, players realize that a trapezium is just a combination of a triangle and a rectangle. So they can calculate the area of the rectangle and the area of triangle and add them both to get the area of trapezium. Operation Escape Evil is a game based on chemistry. The game includes 16 magic tricks. Each player picks one magic trick each. Now their game is all about getting these necessary chemicals as quickly as possible. Reach the warden's office and escape. Let's take a look at the magic trick itself. Take some sodium polyacrylate and add a lot of water. The chemical has a super absorption power so it absorbs all the water and looks shiny, flashy like snow. Identify the chemicals on the board and place your markers to reserve them. Roll dice in each turn and move as many steps following the arrows on the board. Once purchased, turn the marker and get the corresponding chemical card. If another player lands on your chemical, there's a penalty involved. That player has to pay based on whether or not he can answer the question written behind the chemical card. Which baby product has sodium polyacrylate in it? The answer is diapers. Remember the chemical's property to absorb water? Suddenly, the complex sounding chemical became something you can relate to easily, right? That is what the game is about. The players end up realizing that chemistry is not just imaginary chemicals with complex formulas and reactions, but a lot more real. And many things in our everyday lives involve several such fascinating chemicals. Samrat is a strategy war game, all based on real Indian history. The players are real kings from the past. Mohammad Ghori, Pridvira Chauhan, Raja Jaichan and Raja Bhimdev too. The board itself is a realistic historical Indian map with these four kingdoms and all the cities of importance from that time period. Even some of the objectives that the players fulfill are real events that these kings performed in the past. Thus, players experience real Indian history while playing an amazing strategy game. Which resources will you focus on? Which objectives will you complete first? Which army units will you purchase? Whom will you attack? When? Plan wisely and become the Samrat.